Okay, then welcome to um, Edgar Street. Obviously, you were here not so long ago with Brackley, but um, looking for the challenge, looking forward to the challenge? Yeah, absolutely. Delighted to be here. Um, I've been here a few times in the last few years, whether it's with Solly Hall in the Cup or pre season games with Brackley, so, and always experience a good atmosphere here, to be fair. I think when there's a Solly Hall in the Cup, the crowd are right behind the team, and it's a difficult place. I think we, at the time, mentioned Nick won their win, but we we're really under pressure, and the fan base has a massive part of that. And I think that's a big draw when you're bringing some lads in here and you tell them got over a thousand seasons they could solve and the expectations and the fan base and, and the history of the club. So it's a big selling point for the club. Yeah, I've been asking most of the players kind of how Paul sold the move to them and I think everyone's given that answer and saying that the crowd and the stadium are two really big parts of it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, we've been speaking to Paul for a number of weeks now and um, th th I think we have to share a lot of the same ideas and principles and what we believe in and the standards. But yeah, as you say, when you're speaking to the players about coming in here, it's, it's an easy selling point. If people want to progress in the football and, and somewhere to play and experience a good atmosphere, I think there's probably no better place. I think most Hereford fans probably remember you from, from your appearances here before, um, but how would you describe your style of play to them? Um, well, through the years, I've always been a, in, the, in the box trying to get on the end of crosses and goals. If we can get service in the box, then hopefully they'll be on to the end of them there. As we progressed over the years now, we've probably become more of a, a link player than the one that runs in behind and, and more involved in the build-up play and organising on the pitch and trying to help lads um, positionally on the pitch and that side of the game. But mainly the main attribute over the years has been in the box, getting on the end of crosses and hopefully scoring goals. So hopefully I can continue that and at the same time help the, the younger lads um, progress as well. You obviously come here not just as a player but on the coaching staff as well. Um, but I guess just watching your training today, you're very much a kind of encouraging kind of guy and trying to, to, to lead for, by example. Yeah, absolutely. I've always been, I've always tried to be a positive person. Um, I don't really see the point in being too negative. Um, at times people will need to kick up the backside and they need to be shouted at and organised. But I think the best way to do that is through encouraging people. Um, I think you get better reactions. So listen, both sides will come into play. But no, try and encourage lads, especially younger lads who just probably haven't played at a higher level, just to try and help them improve the game ultimately, because a lot of lads at this level want to go and play as high as possible. So we can help them progress and that'll only do us well. Are you excited by the challenge of the, the assistant manager role uh, as much as the playing? Yeah, absolutely. Over the last number of years at any club I've been at, I've always tried to help the younger players develop and try and give them tips and advice. And I'm obviously on my coaching, I'm on my A licence now, so hopefully finishing that in the next couple of months, which has been enjoyable and, and getting into this side of the game. But first and foremost, I still want to be out on the pitch playing, so I'm pushing the lads to make sure that if I'm in the dugout, it means the lads on the pitch are doing well. I know Paul's assembling a, a decent squad and the front three, yourself included, is um, quite competitive. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we are pushing each other. You can already see it in training. Lads are pushing each other because everyone knows once you start back for pre-season, the, the aim is to try and be in that starting 11 the first game of the season. So we're going to need that. We've brought in some good players. There's a good bunch and good spirit already amongst the lads. It'll take time for them to gel. Um, but I'm sure that'll develop over pre-season and when we start playing the games, players will start to develop relationships with each other and we'll see what works and what doesn't work but yeah no once we've a competitive bunch and everyone wants to work hard give 100 percent and, and be in that starting 11 i'm sure we'll be fine and character and attitude seems to be quite high on your and paul's list of um must-haves yeah absolutely that's what i say when we, when we first start chatting about me coming in the role we obviously discussed what our different thoughts were in terms of what we expect from players and from the clubs we've been at the standards of set and being used to and we're very similar and um, we'd often write down three or four awards and we show each other there are similar awards in terms of just attitude desire work all basic stuff that you expect from players but in this day and age you don't always get it so we'd be demanded from that because i think the fans as a whole deserve to see players giving their all on the pitch especially at home you want to get the crowd behind you so to do that you need players that are going to give 100 percent um and, and and do their best if people make mistakes we have no issue with people making mistakes as long as they're trying to do the right things and and they react well Looking forward to the first pre-season game next weekend? Yeah, we've loads of good games coming up. Um, as I say, we've not got the biggest of squad at the minute, so we'll have to manage the lads' minutes and make sure we don't overdo it too early on, because the last thing we want to start picking up is injuries too early. But we're having a look at a few lads as well. But now plenty of games to come over the next month or so, and you know, hopefully the big one here will be probably the West Brom game, the first home game. I think everyone's really looking forward to that. So, yeah, looking forward to it now. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you very much.